Effect, what was episode 34 of my age of Let's Play series. Um, so today we are finally going to be exploring the universe, slash space, slash solar system, slash multiple systems, I'm not quite sure which one. Um, so I'm hoping to fly to the first planet at least today. There's a couple of things I want to do prior to that, I just want to set a little bit of automation with you. Um, and have, I now have pretty much everything over here. There's a couple of things back at the old place still, that's because I've got nowhere to put them in the ship yet and, and I have an idea of a way to um, basically replace them um, within the next age or two, so I'm not too fussed about bringing them over just yet because it's just it's like, like the Empower and stuff like that, I don't think I need them over here, it's just too big, there's nowhere to put it and the Draconic, when we get to Draconic stuff, the Draconic Empower will replace that entirely, so, you know, yeah, please do that. Um, so that's all linked up still, we can still connect to it, um, but it's just not in use at the minute. Uh, and all our storage is still back over there as well, because I, kept, uh, I haven't been figured out a way where we're going to put all the storage yet, because there's a lot of storage still, obviously we don't have much space. We've got that wall left there, but I want that wall there to be out of, that one there to be out of tools, so maybe I could put that one, but yeah. So, first things first, let's quickly look, quick look around, you can see I've got, I've got all these terminals up here. Uh, the crafting the monitors, sorry, the storage monitors up here. That's just showing us how much things we've got. So we've got a nice, a nice stack of gold, uh, well, gold and diamonds and emeralds and yeah, it's lovely. I haven't automated the ender pearls yet. They're still sat over in the thingy. And then same again here. Um, we've got some empty slots here for some more things we want to put in. I haven't decided what to put in there yet. And then I've got the, the, the three terminals at the bottom. The pattern, the pattern, the crafting, and the interface terminal. So that's looking pretty good. And then calculator room, this is pretty much how we left it last time. This has all been working lovely. I put this overflow chest here, which is working exactly as I planned. These uh, process out, they put it into the chest, and then it goes into there, and then into there, and then yeah, it's sorted. So that's beautiful. And then these are all set up as well. Uh, we're going to be doing some automation with this in a little bit because we need to do some. I need to automate the end diamonds to get our void or my leveled up. So we'll do that in a second. Um, in here, this is exactly the same as last episode. Nothing's changed in here at all. Um, I don't think a couple more patterns have been added in, but that's about it. And then here, nothing's changed. Oh, so, sorry. In here, I've put the Empowerer. Um, it was out of the way and probably one of the least cluttered rooms. And you know, it's in the corner, so it's, I think it doesn't look too bad. I don't think. I wish it looked prettier, but it doesn't look too bad. And this all works exactly the same as it did last time. Using the Intuit Dynamics, so this is all what we've done before, this is nothing new there for us there. And then if we go downstairs, I now have made our popular our large machinery room. So I've got two more machines to bring up, I've got the um, the squeezer and the press, because we need some of them for some of the graphite sticks and stuff like that. Um, but as you can see, I've got two crushers now, so I made a second crusher. Um, and these both work, well, they basically share, there's a conduit underneath there, there you go. The conduit is under there, and um, we're the same round robin in between the two, so that's uh, beautiful. And basically, I've got an uh, interface here which exports all these ones, which get pulled out and put into these machines. And then, yeah, lovely. And this lever there turns both these machines on and off, which is quite nice. And then I've got the same like, like we did last time as well, I've got these sag mills at the top with um, exporting. Well, this one exports the ones that we want to. Um, put in here, and then these ones are the ones that we get the items from. So these are ones that we can this, we smelt the output. These are the ones that we don't smelt the output. So just two different outputs, two different colors into the non-output ones go into here, which then go straight back into there, and then the ones with the sub to smelt go into here, and then get pushed into these two there. So it's all very straightforward. Um, the arc furnace, you know, it's exactly the same last time. Um, I have put unbreaking three on these three graphite electrodes. I don't know if you could do it, but you can. So I thought, oh, we'll do that. And so hopefully they'll last a little bit longer. And this is all kept up, kept up, again exactly the same as last time. I'm thing in front of it. Um, then we have our improved blast furnace. I haven't automated the the like, quantity that the last time where we'd put the, the levels um, just yet, but I do plan to do that very soon. Oh, a tiny little block there. Oh, how cool is that? Um, so I do plan to do that um, probably in a couple of days or so. Um, but for now we've got like 5,000 steel, so I'm not too fussed about it for now. And then I've got now I've got three of these presses here as well. So these three presses do all three different types. See, so this one does the, the wires, this one does the gears, I believe. Yep, and then this one does the uh, the, the rods. And so we replace the MS engineering. They replace the advanced rocketry ones because these are just quicker. And then I've got the two coke ovens as well. So it's all pretty straightforward. And then the other thing I've done is over here in our other room, I have very untidily 
created our um, calculator plug farm thing in here as well. I've added one more ring around it, so we're now that, that that ring was I think it was like 32 or something all the way around. Um, so we're now producing 20,000 RF per tick, um, which is well the maximum that you can actually output this, which is quite annoying because you can't output obviously any more than 20,000 with this at the bottom. Um, with this cable, so we do need to get some dimensional transceivers at some point um, because they can transfer, I think it's 50,000 RF per tick. Um, but that's it's what to do. Never let on for now. Hopefully, that 20,000 RF per tick won't like, be any more than we need. Um, and then, you can see the bottom of the setup there. Nothing's in that one still. That I think in this one of here, this pod here is going to be where we put our one of our like a um, mob farm or something, so it's out of the way. But yeah, so that's a quick overview of what I've been doing uh, and to see where we are. Again, everything is exactly like it was before. I've not created anything new. I've just moved it around to make it all fit into this new place. Um, so, first thing I'm going to do today is I want to get the void all my, sorry, the void resource mine tier 3 as well. So, if you look at environmental tech, uh, and viral, what's the call up again? So, as you can see, I've got I've got the tier three blocks, I've got the structure blocks, and I have the alabaster machine blocks. I've also got the uh, modified calls ready for you and you. So all we need to do is convert these void or mine tier twos, which are made like just like we did the, the uh, resource miners, uh, diamond blocks, three of the uh, tier ones, and then the two little lens and laser core. So that's really 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 simple. So I basically want to automate these stabilized end pearls today. But the main thing I want to do is to automate the end diamonds. Because end diamonds is obviously in the atomic, it's a redstone, redstone, end stone, electric diamond, and obsidian. Obviously, the electric diamond is got from the conductor mass, and the fire diamond again is in here with the flawless diamond and two blaze rods. So I want to automate this entire process. So that's what we're going to do right now. So let's quickly go and uh, crack on with this then. So Get stuck in a wall apparently and let's go create the first pattern that we need so we need uh, diamonds so we need two of these uh, flawless diamonds right so I can put one of you and then a blaze rod show two of you and I'll need two of you now then will you do we have a of diamond in store no fire diamond sorry we do should return one of you. Nice. So let's just grab a couple of you just for what we need in a minute. And if we go back over here and go beneath the floor to this bad boy, which is linked to, so you can see I put the interfaces on the back here. It was alternated it with a chest because these can't uh, pull out of it, and of course you've got the different sides I've seen last time. So um, it's again, it's exactly the same setup we had last time in terms of. The way that it inputs in the side, so this is like the, the things upstairs, so nothing's too fancy here. I don't think we automated this bad boy last episode, uh, uh, whenever we did the automation for this whole setup, so I want to go through it now. So basically, this machine it accepts from the left, the left slot is on the left side, the middle slot is the back, and the right slot is the right hand side, and then you have to export from the bottom, so we have to do with these. So when we're down here looking at this, you can see I have I put one of the ME conduits there just so that it can get the two things across it. Um, but as you can see here, I've got purple going in, purple going in there, and purple going in there, and purple coming out of this chest this down. Okay, I've not I've not done that. So you need to be on purple and extract. So now what in theory? And I want this to be on round robin, so hopefully this will work. Now, the problem we're going to have is because we need the blaze rods to go either side and then the diamond in the middle, I'm not sure if this is going to play nice. So we'll try it, we'll see what happens. We might have to do a bit of tinkering with it, uh, maybe you know, a counting upgrade or something, counting upgrade, upgrade, filter thing on it or something. But let's see, right, so let's try it first. Let's try ordering 10. So you are not in protein. This is a good start. So you're there, so you should be extracting 
purple extract, yes. Insert purple. Insert purple. Hmm. That's not weird at all, is it? Extract. Always active. Why are you extracting? Let's pull you off, put you in. Try you again to see if you've been a purple, always active. Nope, it does not want to insert. Does not want to insert at all. Alright, give me a second, let me see if I can figure this out. It did work earlier on, but it's not working now, typically. Right, I figured it out. Kinda. I made the docking station and put the little thing in. Well, it's weird that it's a full block can fit in that tiny little thing. Uh, but I've put the atomic calculator into another docking station, and that seems to have done the trick. It made all 10 without me having to do anything. So, I'm gonna say it's working. I'm gonna hope it's working. So let's just quickly check why. Oh, you're not actually because there's no cables. And let's just put, quickly put some cables on it again. So we need some conduits. And just give me some of you. Let's wire this up quickly, and then we can very quickly just do all of them. Why not? So let's set you to come on. Set you to extract always active. And then we might have to do you on a pink color, aren't we? Let's do you on red. Yeah, what's we'll the what's we'll the what's we'll the insert color I've got? Nothing. A green. All right, I'm doing green. That's fine. Remember, that. so I'm green. Okay, I was active, and then what we basically we'll do is join these two cables up together. So into you, and you. So how are you coming up then? Because you was working. No, 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 you should be working because you're pulling up. Ah, that's why you're little numb that. Let's just uh, pull you out of there. And then let's do this again. Put the cable back there. And then what I didn't do was obviously I didn't set the bottom of this on south to be. Nope. Up needs to be on extract, so this should be active. So now, in theory, in theory, you should be doing your thing. Yes, nice. So if we go upstairs and then request ten more fire diamonds, it should work without a hitch. So give me ten. Start. There we go. It's put in a weird order, but as long as it puts it in, I'm happy with that. I always put it in even, that's the main thing. If it starts putting them in like bits of boo everywhere, then it's like, oh. But that's working, that's nice. Happy with that. Awesome! And then we need to turn the fire diamonds, fire diamonds into electric diamonds. So for that, we need to go back over to the um, old base and have a quick look at what it looks like. It looks, it looks terrible. Look how bad it looks. It's all torn a bit apart, but you know. This is where this is the pretty much the only thing we're staying here, and the reactor's downstairs. That's pretty much it. Um, and the, the storage, but I'm gonna move that at some point. So, up here we have our conductor mast, and the annoying that we need to get in there, so we have to break that temporarily. So, what we want to do is if we go over here, we can quit over here. You see, I've, got, uh, I've made this room its own little ME system. Just so that we can craft things up in here, we'll need these in a minute. And um, before we grab these now, actually. So we need you, we need you, we need you, and we need you. Nice. So I'll put a few things in here. Let's put one like one little drive, which just makes pretty much makes this whole room just sort of, uh, its own little A system. Right. So what we want to do is get a fire diamond. Oh my God, fire! 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 And say so one fire diamond is equal to Go to you and put you in there. One electric diamond, like that. Beautiful. And then we go to you and say you and. Where'd my fire diamond go? That's not annoying at all, is it? 
Did I not press that? I could have sworn I pressed it. I could have literally have sworn I pressed it. Uh, so you equal the fire diamond. Awesome. So now we can go over here. Because this is all connected to the A system, so we can throw it. Oh, wrong one. Throw you in there. And we're going to have to be dirty with this for now and clean up later on. Are you going to be a pain in the ass and say so you need to be input full from the bottom like the machines? Let's try it. So I want a electric diamond. So electric, electric gives me 10. And you put them in the bottom. That is stupid. All right, okay. So what we're going to do is bit of hint you do with this. Break you. I was emitting light that was panel. And put you. I hope I actually hope I kept the storage. I think it does. Oh, yeah, okay. Put you there. Isn't it light? That's pretty cool. We need to break you. And then get this bad boy there, and there, and there, and get some cables because we need to put some cables again. Uh, ba -ba 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 Where's the that blue will do? Just need one of you to go on to you. Break you. Put you. And then get you. So now, oh no, of course. I'm going to have to break you. And you can pull from the bottom because you, know, you need to pull from the bottom. Which you know what I get, but it's also quite everything. Not going to lie. Uh, so extract and you should be inset like so. So now in theory if we put the fire diamonds in there that should do its thing. Awesome. So let's pull you out of there. Go to electric again. Let's cancel that one first. Go to electric lecky. I want Put the pattern back in. <laughs> that might help. Elecky diamond. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme two. Yeah, quick and easy. You work two in there. Awesome. Go in there. Pulled out. Beautiful. Now, I don't want to put this on the, on the ship because you saw the flash of lightning there. I don't really want that on the ship because it was a bit unrealistic. That's why I'm leaving this here. and um, Because it does flash. I test as if it does flash. So, so much better in mind. But I don't want the flashy flashy. But that's that. That's awesome. So now we can go back home again. Um, and then we can make the end diamond. The end diamond was just electric diamond, end stone, and obsidian. So we can go in here. Oh, no, let's go over there first. Go to the frame to catch up. So what we need to say is a lucky diamond, a lucky end. Stone, 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 and obsidian equals an end diamond. Then I'll say you. Awesome. So again, now in theory, what we have to do is go in here, down here, to you, and put you in there. And in theory, now we can craft end diamonds. So let's take let's take all the fire diamonds out. Let's take all the electric diamonds out. Electric. And then let's take all the end diamonds. Well, excuse me. Now if we make the end diamond, so if we say I want ten of you, you should need to make the fire diamond and you should need to make the electric diamond. So do you do everything? So you're crafting the fire diamonds, which is quick, uh, really quick. Like that, two, three, and you're doing the electric diamond. Awesome, you're working, and then you're doing the end diamonds as well. That is beautiful. Awesome! Just what I want to see. So now we can put them back in the system. Let's save. Goodbye, goodbye. Go, 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 go. Now to here, and then go to um, um, avoid. So use this on you, because you we need to make these. Does it add its own? Nope, nope. Like so. And then we can put these down at the bottom. This is environmental tackles, isn't it? Where are you? Actually, what are these for? Yeah, environmental tackle. So scroll down to the bottom. You see, I have all of these all in, in terms of where the mods are, so it's a bit all relevant mod. Um, there you are. 
So now, she was just make four of you, like so. And I can make the Voidor mod T4. Oh, Void Reset mod T4. Awesome. Awesome. Now, all I have to do with this is I'll, oh, I'll go set up after the, after the episode because I don't know what to do together. It's going to be really quick. Um, so I need my uh, my wand thing. I'll show you exactly how I did it for the other one, and should have it all ready to go. So if we go downstairs, now I'm going to put this one here. Same as that one's there. So I'm going to put this one here. So it's not the cleanest look in the world, but it does the job quite nicely, I think. Get this bad boy. Put you there. Now I've just hold. Oh, no, 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 no. No! Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh my god. We lost it. No! Alright, okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and make another one. Later on. Not now. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Absolute idiot. And uh, this is not too bad to make. So let's go ahead and make what we need to make next. So let's go back. To uh, over here. So what we want to make now is we want to actually start traveling around space. So what we need for that is we need to make a. I can't believe I lost that. That's like bad man. Um, so we need to make a warp core. So a warp core is this beautiful little beastie. Um, so what we need is we need some titanium blocks. We need some uh, multi titanium blocks, a warp core, and then some machine structures to go around it. And what's that in the middle? Uh, block of coal. Block a gold block. Then okay, so we should have everything for it. Um, not all of my system, so let's just put it away now because you know you can't build it now. So let's put them away. Put you away. Put you away. So right, so we've got this bad boy. We've got one of the machine blocks here. So let's go ahead and make the full setups now. So we need titanium blocks. We need how many titanium blocks do we need? We need uh, 15 titanium blocks. Wow, that's a lot of titanium. Hopefully we've got enough. I think we should have more than enough. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we've got more than enough. Fifteen, awesome. Uh, we need machine casings. We need more. To put it lightly, give me, give me, give me. Machine casing. I should have everything here all ready for it. Awesome. So is it four we need, right? Yep. Put you in there, and then we need the warp core itself. As well, so that is you, which you should have everything for. Um, almost. Yeah, what are we missing? So we're missing the core coil, which is you. And of course, we're missing that other thing in the middle because we're always missing that other thing in the middle. But we should, I knew I made everything ready for it. And then we just need some uh, titanium plates, wasn't it? Oops, sorry, two of you. You'll do that in a second. Awesome, fast. And then the warp core is just. The warp controller as well. It doesn't say anything about warp controller, does it? Hmm. Um, so build you like so. Awesome. Let's build this up. So we need the warp core to go there, and then we need titanium blocks there, 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 and there. And it says I need two blocks of gold, so that's what I'm right. Two blocks of gold? Yeah, yeah. Um, so we need two, one, two, and I'm going to guess that these two blocks of gold are these two here. Ah, come on. There you go, and then put the impact on top like that. What's them? And then put the machine switch block there, 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 and there, and then just tighten around the top, right? Yes. Oh. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? And then just right click on you. Awesome! Look how beautiful this machine looks. It looks amazing. I think this is quite a cool room for here because we can see over our A2 room there, um, with all of our circuit, uh, all our things, molecular assemblies and interfaces here. I think this looks beautiful. So what we need to do is get some dilithium. So dilithium. Let's just give me everything we've got. Three three stacks worth. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Go on the top to you and let's put you in the top like so. And then you see these little blobs here. These are, this is the lithium in the core, which looks beautiful. This this mod this like model is amazing. Just saying, it's amazing. 
Um, so the next thing we need to make is, I think, well, I think this make is a planet selector. So to make a planet selector, it is, because this is what we need to actually select the planet we're going to, uh, is a guidance computer, some levers, buttons, and optical sensor. Now we should have every, no, I can't have any guidance computer there. I missed one thing. There's always one thing. Is it that's something that's difficult to make? No, it's not. Although we do need some more tracker ideas. Damn. Right, give me a second. I need to make a couple more tracker ideas. Um, because I don't think we're gonna have enough. Uh, we're gonna, yeah. So what we need to do is just shimmy on back over to the home base and make a couple more of you. So I'll be right back once we have those ready and made. Right, so I've made these other tracking circuits and I've realized we don't actually need them at all. Because we need the warp controller, not the planet selector. So what we're going to do is going to make the warp controller and this is what we use to fly around and obviously warp. Which kind of makes sense, but you know. So we didn't need to go ahead and make these, but we have them now just in case we need it anyway. So that's pretty cool. So now what I think you know, I need to do, does this need power? I, I hope it does. I don't think it does. This is going to live here. There we go. So what we can do now is, in theory, we can see where we need to go. So if we look at the book, the book tells us that we need to get some mercury, tantalum, zirconium, and cadmium. So we'll do the first one first, and we'll go look for some mercury. So it says down here, um, look up in JEI which planets have the ores you need. Um, apparently there's also two moons in the solar system which help out of titanium. But we can also go, this is somewhere in here, we can also go to the other solar system and we can see, get all of the ores, which is in smaller quantities. Um, blah, 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 blah. So we can see it in here. But it's, uh, in the manual here it says that you can go to those ones it's in smaller quantities. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all go to all the ones in our solar system and get the ones we need for now. And then I'm going to move the ship permanently over to one of the, the other, other solar system. Um, so we can get... Some of that from there. So we need some mercury ore, and mercury is found with enough on planet Mercury. So let's go there first. So if we select the planet, we can now see this beautiful solar system. And I think if we go up, yeah, we see the other one here. So we see Alpha Centauri there with 11 planets, and we're around Sol. So we can go back to you. Can we let's double click? Okay. So we're looking for planet Mercury. So there's Ceres, that's Moon. Uh, so there's Mercury. So I'm sure you would Ceres if you want one. And there's Earth, so this will cost us, if we just select on that, costs us 127 fuel, which I believe um, you half that, and that gives you the value of the lithium you needed. So that's like a stack of the lithium, basically. So if we press warp, we should, in theory, start warping. If I'm not mistaken. Let's see. So we press warp. Awesome, and we're in the right direction as well. Awesome, the ship is the right way. That is what we see. Look how cool this is. This is like proper cool looking. Like proper cool looking. All the ships are going through the thing. And there's Mercury. <gasps> there it is. Look how cool that is. The red planet and everything. All the ship is like floating the wrong way around it. But I can deal with that. That's fine. That's fine. So, what I want to do is I want to get our, um, our mining stuff so we can... Okay, so we need a builder. Uh, one of these has got the. I'm gonna guess one of these has got the card in it, right? Oh, it's just got the card for the ship. Uh, so the mining card. Mining. No. Where's the card? <gasps> is it gone? Where's it gone? Where is it? Is it? Is it in here? Yeah, it's in there. Okay, that's awesome. Awesome. So we've got you. We're ready for you. We've got the fuel here in in this tank. So let's go ahead and go over to hover mode, and then let's go over to our rocket ship, which is over here on our little side ball thing. How cool this looks with Mercury. And you see the void oil miner down there, jetting down to the planet and void and mine the planet, which is where I got that thinking idea. So now, in theory, um, we see we're destination for Mercury. So we need to put some fuel in there. First, awesome, and now you see my little muffin on top of there. Awesome. So now, in theory, if we go to F5 mode, we should be able to take off, right? And this should land us on Mercury, which is absolutely awesome. Um, I'd quite like to create a matter transceiver so we can come back here whenever we want to. Um, but look at that. How cool that is! Like, how cool that is! How cool that is! Bye, ship. Bye. This is quite cool from up here, not gonna lie. Is that pretty damn cool? 
I don't have to boot the ship. It looks pretty cool. And now we can't see more. But it's so cool. This mod is awesome. So, hi, that's me. I'm inside. I can breathe. Oh, loading. I wonder what planet. Yeah, space to descend. Oh, go down. Oh, looks like we're next to one of them. Um, the the resource bubble things, which are full of, it's like absolutely full of, um, well, resources. So I'll show you when we get down there. That, that's that grey bit on the map right in front of where, basically right in front of where I'm looking. So I think we can pretty much get out whenever we want to, right? I don't think we need to, like, do we? But apparently there's an atmosphere on here and it's 4.5 times Earth. Which is out. That's really loud. Can we get out? We can get out. There we go. It gets four faster. Yeah, these big ball things here apparently contain loads and loads and loads of the it's a new a new dirt. It is hot dry rock. That's pretty cool. What bees are these? Where's the rocket ship? There it is, it's landing. Is that cool it is to see it land? It lands on that. Oh, oh. So there's some modest hives there. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, in here. So underneath this geodite dome, it's like full. Wow, this is like next level. Next level thick. Come on. Hey, are, are you not letting me break it? Really? You really not gonna let me break it? Oh, there we go. So these are full of resources apparently. Yeah, the big domes like. And it's just full, like, like, oh, how cool this is! Look, it's like the old Twilight Forest, basically. It's mobs here as well, and everything. How cool is that? So what I'm going to do is basically just mine the hell out of these, I think. Although, does it contain mercury? That is the question. I can't see the mercury. Hmm. So we'll go ahead and we'll set up the set up the, the mine quarry thing together, and then we'll, I'll leave for ten minutes to see if we get any mercury or not. If we don't, then I'll go somewhere else with it. And if we do, then you know, yippee! Kind of way out of here. There we go. So let's go ahead and set this bad boy up. I hope we have a power cell. That'd be a good idea. Like a power cell, wouldn't it? Let's place you like there, and then let's get the ship card out of here. And then let's so the ship card needs to be a box. On the top right hand side, show. So we need to go the other way. So we need to get you, and then in the this is the X. In the Z coordinates, we need to go minus 100, I think. Let's try it. Nope, that did not work. I can never quite figure these things out. They're like, it's like quite difficult to like. Do we use of anything? No, no uses. No uses for that bad boy. Um, yes, yeah, zero blocks. So that's definitely not right. So let's do a hundred. Maybe that needs to be minus fifty one. And that needs to be ninety nine. Try you now. Nope. Oh, it's over there. Why is it over there for? Hmm. See, I, I don't, I, I just don't get these. Let's put it in a bottom right corner again. Okay. Now I want it to be the other side though. I want to break you. Come back. Place you there. Then, no bottom right corner. No! The other side! There we go. Oh, I that awesome, so that's that'll basically go ahead and do that. Yeah, sweet. So let's just set that up going. So we want to get the crate. So get one of you. Put you there. Get a cell. Enter cell. Behind your cell. <gasps> we do. Awesome. And then get yourself a lever as well. Get you, thank you. Put energy cell there and your out mode. You on the side, so in theory, turn you on. You should, should. There we go, starts doing stuff. 
Awesome. So I'm going to leave for five, ten minutes, um, and I'll come back to you once we have everything. Let's see if we have anything in here. I might have to move this down a few layers to see if we can get something like that. Um, Towards the level, because if you look in here and we look at the Mercury, it's not Mercury probably. Um, it's down at Y levels, like um, very low at like Diamond level. So we might have to move this down to that Diamond level a little bit. But I'm going to see if there's anything in that Geoderm because if there is, that'd be pretty cool. Because we won't have to do too much in terms of mining. We can just find a Geoderm and mine a hell out of it. Do we have any Mercury in here? I'm not seeing no Mercury. No, that's not an issue. I don't mind too much. But yeah, give me five minutes. I'll be right back once we have this stuff running. Alright, so this has been running there for about five, or not now, about two or, th two or three minutes, maybe more, or five minutes. Um, did the whole geodome. You can see it got all over there, and there's nothing here for Mercury, so definitely these geodomes definitely don't have Mercury inside of them. Um, so I've put this down to Y level. It's currently between Y level uh, 10, I think. A Y level 13 and Y level 0 basically this is going at the minute and this is getting us nice, a fair bit of mercury so we have at the minute three and a half stacks of mercury which is four stacks so I think in a second I'm going to call that quits for this one and then we're going to be pretty much done um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here in a second yes I want that to run and I'm going to end the episode here uh, because we're coming to like just over half an hour now and what we'll do in the next episode we'll go to the remaining three planets get the remaining ores and then we will also then uh, fly to our new destination around another planet and set up a foyer over there as well to see if we get all the ores over there um, so yeah that is where I'm going to call it for today I can't take off my helmet so we're just going to have to take it like this unfortunately because I know actually actually it says breathable I can't take it off awesome so you know on a different planet it's very dark it's a lot darker with that helmet on put the helmet on yeah, it's a lot darker with that helmet on it's pretty cool but yeah, that's what I'm going to leave for today, guys. So thanks for watching. I do really appreciate it. We've got a fair bit done today. And a big, 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 big derp. Uh, losing our void uh, resource miner. But again, I'll create that off camera probably while I'm waiting for this to get some more mercury. And then I'll create that and then open the next episode. So I will see you all again next episode when we can do the rest of the planets. So I'll see you then. Bye.